It was a case of goodbye to the old and hello to the new. And on Wednesday morning, the Madaraka Express set off on its maiden journey with President Uhuru Kenyatta, Deputy President William Ruto and members of the public on board. Its departure from the coastal town of Mombasa, heralding a new age in rail transport in the country. Among those old enough to remember its predecessor, the SGR passenger train eliciting a bout of nostalgia about what had been and excitement about what would be the changes expected to make all the difference. This great facility that will be convenient, safer, faster, cost-effective and most importantly enjoyable. Over 100 years before the Madaraka Express, there was the Lunatic Express constructed under British colonial rule. A train that was characterized and was criticized by all those in the British Parliament as a train to nowhere, but a train that ultimately formed the basis of the new nation of Kenya. The Madaraka Express setting out to make its own impact in the digital age, splitting the carriages into two distinct classes, first class and economy class. First class passengers set to enjoy advantages such as more legroom and power points to charge electronics, creature comforts on the five-hour journey between Mombasa and Nairobi with stops in between, the economy class providing a more affordable option. Mwanainchi wa kawaida, awe anaweza apande hireli, kutoka Mombasa, kuenda Nairobi, na silipishwe zaidi ya shilingi miasaba. The large clear windows giving clear views of the landscape as it speeds by, making it ideal for tourists. But leisure aside, why is the SGR considered a game changer? Analysts expect it to spur economic growth. Passenger trains will shuttle at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour, double the speed of the old trains, while the cargo trains will travel at 80 kilometers per hour, moving 22 million tons in loads annually against the 1.6 million tons moved annually on the old rail network. The SGR is also expected to see the number of trucks on the road reduce, increasing road safety while creating jobs. The train can take about 1,500 passengers in one trip, the equivalent of about 20 Mombasa-bound buses. In the wake of cases of vandalism reported before the grand launch, the president issuing a stern warning. One of the key cornerstones to Kenya's transformation to an industrialized, prosperous, middle-income country. Economic sabotage ni ile inaitua capital offense. Yani ukihukimiwa, wewe unaenda kinyonga. Tunayalawana. The train operations, however, are still a work in progress, with officials expected to iron out the kinks and draw up a schedule in a few months. Nine hours after it started its journey, the Madaraka Express drawing into the Siokimao train station. Despite the hurdles, the journey of a thousand miles has already begun. Wilkis Anyabo, JKL.